All right, I'm Robbie Fall. Hi there, how are you folks doing? We're back with Soma, um, playing on my Time to Play episodes. I believe this is episode number three. And uh, we're, no, 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 I'm sorry. This would be four. We're continuing along with uh, Soma at the moment. It's been, it's been pretty great. I've been having a great time with this game. Um, right now, I'm on the ocean floor. I had a shuttle just crash on me back there, and uh, here we are, uh, trying to find our way to where the shuttle was originally supposed to take me, which I believe was called Lanta. Hold on, let me get a little bit of my lips a little chapped. A little bit of chapstick. A little more. All right, so thank you for allowing me that short chapstick break, folks. I appreciate it. I guess Lanta's in 350 meters. It's it's nice that you have signs down here on the ocean floor telling you, you know, how to get from point A to point B. A lambda. Lambda. And I'm flickering. What? 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 Oh, it's one of those guys. I don't know what they do. But they talk like tortured souls. That looks like a brain. That's definitely a brain. No, what? No. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! Okay, alright, so those are not good. You're gonna tear me apart. Alright. We somehow outran it. But it's coming for me. So now I know to, to definitely to avoid those things. Before they were just red and they weren't doing anything to me. But, um... They had red lights, and usually red lights means something bad. And, you know, causing the camera to flicker like that in this game is also not a very good sign. Lights. Ooh, I like lights. I wish I had my buddy Blinky. Blinky the, the sea bot. Lambda. Lambda. And some other place, I guess. What? I'm gonna go over here anyways. Lambda's over there, but this seems really interesting. It's a tiny little little submarine. Maybe I can find something interesting. Or pilot it? I can pilot it. Huh. Ah able to activate. Escape. So I'm guessing when I go into Lambda, the shuttles that they say are there are not going to be working, and I'm going to have to get a chip to operate that submarine to get me from uh, place to place next time. It's just a guess, mind you, but it's a pretty educated one, I like to think. All right, button pressing time. This must be Lambda. Or Catherine is. Oh, this must be Lambo? What gave it away? The big sign outside that says Lambo? Probably not. Probably just the barnacles. Lambo is said to be full of barnacles. And we're off. There's one thing you gotta hand to this game is that it is very detailed. I will give it that. I don't know about the rest of the game just yet. There's no way of possibly knowing this early whether or not this is gonna be a great game. It seems like it's pretty awesome so far. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! What? No! 
Catherine? Jump. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh my god. The moment I say it's too early to tell if this is gonna be a great game, it decides, oh! Let's just throw a terrible monster at you. That you can't even look at. I hope. Thanks for the, the heads up. I'm gonna stay crouched though, just in case. Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry to hear that you're hurt. All right. That was heart pounding. Got to think I'm getting behind myself. This woman's hurt. This woman is hurt, and that room looks scary. So let's not go anywhere else right now. Are you Catherine? I'm right next to you. Catherine? You're not Catherine? What the hell? Simon, right here. You're... but... So everyone here is a robot. No, not you two. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. I can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't. You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I... I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omnitool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. Sorry, Simon. You're a when walking, talking tool diving loaded, suit. Just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. What did you want me to do? The tool you're carrying. Plug it into the computer over there. Hey, there she is. Lambda Terminal 27 activated. The Omnitool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? All right. Let's give this a try. This is fucked. In the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. 
We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. He came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, file it. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. So, um, the... What was it you said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How... Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. All right, so apparently, um, if I'm understanding this correctly, a comet took out the surface world. And there are people living in this environment down here now in this year, whatever year this is. I, I must have missed that somewhere. It must have been written somewhere. But, um... Apparently, because the surface world got wiped out, they were thinking of... Sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they're, now they're, they planned on, after the surface world was taken out, launching a virtual world filled with virtual consciences... virtual consciousness uh, of different people into space into a virtual world. Uh, why kind of escapes me? Uh, maybe maybe to survive in a, in a virtual world without needing the, the necessities of life? I, I'm not quite certain, but... What happened before? That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing, at least. Gives the senses a good punch. All right, let's talk. Check the computer in the other room. All right. I don't know. Um, it's all not completely clear yet exactly what's going on. But... It is starting to make somewhat... A, a, a somewhat of an amount of sense. Suits. But it looks like the people who were here are all gone now. For some reason. That's that's a mystery in and of itself. Why are all the people that were here working on this gone? What are you doing? Be careful. <gasps> oh! Hi! static. It's... it's so strange. Alright. I don't know what I was supposed to be checking. Okay. Oh, is that health? That's supposed to be health.
And now my screen isn't as blurry. Catherine? What? Nothing. Never mind. That is... That's got to have some repercussions. What am I checking in this room? I thought I was supposed to be checking something. I completely forgot because I just went on a speculative tandem. Maybe I already finished checking what I needed checking. Let's hope, because something's walking around out there. I told you, go check the computer in the other room. I didn't see a computer, but let's go, let's, let's go one more time. Give it another go. Oh, hey, okay, I see it. off. Unless there's some other other room that you're talking about. Another computer. All right, there's got to be a computer somewhere that I'm missing. Is it back this way? Maybe it's back further, back this way. Oh, well we should probably get down if that's the case. It wasn't exactly quiet. So we got that room. We got this one. Uh, more health? All right, um. <laughs> Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the Ark. What about this computer? I don't know quite what that's supposed to mean. But uh, I guess we'll check this one then. Opinion poll. I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor then? I think it's really important we do this. Alright. Robin Bass is on board. On July 7th of 2103. Ian Pedersen. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it. But it's not going to be easy. All right. What about Mark Sarang? What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is uh, just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. 
I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Interesting. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Interesting. Different environments for the virtual world for the Ark. The schematics. And they were just going to orbit it around the sun. All right. Interesting. Welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. How would I describe my physical condition? I feel disconnected, a separation of mind and body. I feel altered, a change in character. I feel lost, I don't exist anymore. I feel normal. I feel lost. How would you describe your senses? As expected, normal. I feel more sensitive to and aware of my surroundings. I feel blocked, as if my senses are numb. I am lacking one or more of my natural senses. Normal. I would, I would assume. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? I don't like it. Something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? How do you perceive your new existence? It's a direct continuation of my previous self. It's something completely different. It has nothing to do with my previous self. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? No, it's too detached from reality and everything I know. Would you rather be removed from the product and accept death? Maybe I need to think about it. Okay. Um, arc tracker. I found a tracker homed in on the arc. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please, please let it be safe. Canada? South America, um, Australia, South America. I was just in South America. 
Africa? Oh, hi! So, there she blows. I'm gonna guess it's in the Tau sector. I knew that because I looked at the map and Tau is the furthest from where I was, so I figured that'd be the last place to go. <coughs> and that looks like the biggest main room. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no, it's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. Oof. All right, well then, um, hmm. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? I you know, know what? I found a sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Gee, thanks. Alright, so, um, another speculation that I have about this game. The voice acting. It seems really good, but Simon doesn't seem at all distressed about his situation. There are some points where he does a good job of, ex you know, expressing that feeling. But, I don't know. You just don't get the feeling that he realizes the gravity of his situation. It's either that he's too optimistic, or... He's, he's either just way too optimistic, or he just doesn't realize what's going on. Another thing, the monsters don't seem to be all that prevalent game so far. But, I kind of like that. The story interests me more than anything. The story is very interesting. It makes you ask a lot of questions. And it's definitely the creepiest aspect. I enjoy games that, you know, Make your mind work double time instead of just your uh, your heart. Okay, apparently I can't close that until I do this. Uh, huh? What? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel Four. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Success. Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information oh. and update the Omni tool. So not success. There. Should help you get around. Great. Boom. Why, thank you, Omni tool lady. That 
Don't look good. You aren't blinky. Got some distortions going on. it up. This isn't terrifying or anything. they do for invisible walls? I don't quite know what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to try this again. Just one more time. Okay, no. No, it wasn't an invisible wall. It was just him showing up. It was the game letting me know Hey, you know that guy? That guy in the diver suit? He's still hanging around. He's still creeping on you. Oh, God. All right, well, here we go. You, you point that on me, too. I'm convinced that is not a swipe, that is a point. He's pointing it. He's not doing it right. It says swipe! <sighs> Alright. Well, let's uh, move this. this old buddy out of the way. It'd be really shitty to get attacked by that monster in here. Mr. Shiny Head. I hear distortions. I hear them. That probably means I'm gonna die soon. I'm probably gonna die soon. Oh yes. Oh yes, I'm probably gonna die soon. Alright, I, I didn't die. Awesome. Okay. And we push on! Is that me breathing or is that like mechanical? Le Is that you, Mr. Shiny Face? Uh, looks like you! Oh good, good, he's gone. I think he's scared of me. You know, kids, Shiny-headed robots are just as afraid of you as you are of them! Except, if only that were the case. Oh, God. Do I have a flashlight down here? Yes, I do. Okay. Apparently this is Mr. Shinyhead's favorite chill spot. Likes to hang around. 
parks. Did that swimming fish or shark or whatever it was just oh oh where All right, well, here we f fucking go. Oh, viewers, get ready for a... See, I'm clearly a robot. I don't know how I'm not accepting this yet. Wonderful. At least I know where to find a nice hiding spot. God. Uh, this is awful. Can't open that one. But that one, that's my go to hiding place. Wait just a damn minute. It, it really was just locked. Alright, here we go! Down the spooky corridor. With the spooky lights. all this algae and these barnacles. No, 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 no. You open. You open slowly and ominously. And then shut behind me. Yep. It's gonna shut. Let's just wait. Shut behind me, folks. Good to know I can still open it, but it creepily shut behind me. Find a working escape vessel. Oh, hey! Hey, the emergency shuttle! Hey, that's what I. That's me! I, I'm trying to. You gotta. I. That's the, all right. Cool. Finally, some good news. And yet, I have a feeling it's not going to be that easy. The sky is pitch black. No! That's my buddy, Mr. Shiny Head. Everything is on fire. The flames, they're reaching all the way into the sky. It's unreal. Any signs of life? Over. No. Nothing but a massive firestorm covering the continent. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead! Ah! Go! No! Oh no! It really did lock behind me! Oh, it's gonna 
He's gonna kick my ass. Oh my goodness. I am so surprised I did not die. I don't know how he gets you, but I booked. I hear you out there. I know you're there. I I know. You're scampering, skittery scampering around out there. I hear you. I just don't know how to get around you. Sucks. Oh, what? No, 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 dear God, no, what happened? I didn't even see you. Well, apparently I'm just never going to get past them. Where are you? Okay. Oh. Oh God. Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh God. He's right outside that door. Is he gone? What is happening? What is happening right now? 
No, 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 no! Shut up! Bones! Well, it sounds like I've, I've gotten away. Oh, thank God. And like an idiot, I'm just gonna... No! Ah, shit! No! No! Oh, I'm screwed. This is where it all ends, folks. Oh my god. I'm so screwed. I am so screwed. Oh, this thing is gonna kill me! Oh, he's gonna kill the shit out of me. <laughs> Go away! Mr. Shiny! Your head is too shiny for me to even look at. So you need to go so I can see where I'm walking and not die. That'd be nice, thank you so very much. He's, he's right in the way, isn't he? I screwed up! I screwed up! Oh dear god, I screwed up! Okay. Just go all the way down the hallway and turn so that I can fucking just get by you. Please, please. I'm begging you. I hear you skit scattering. I hear you skit scattering away. You run! Yeah, that's right! You run away! You little bitch! That's right. That's right. You scared? I'm the real MVP. Oh no! No! Close. Can I close this hatch? I can't. Is he climbing that? Oh no. Oh, he's climbing that. See, in a game so intricate, and a world so cool looking, I want to be able to explore. But I know the second that I try to do that, he's going to come up right behind me. Like he clearly is right now. Just go, just go, just go. Go. Oh dear God. He 
He's out there. He's moving around. I hear his skit scattering. He's skit scattering. The skit scattering has subsided. It, it hasn't quite subsided, but it's, uh... Huh? What? Oh, you made it! This is much better. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. Shut up! Shut up! He's right there! Uh, uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency oh, could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the you. sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe He's there's an override. Stab me right through the stomach. There's monsters out there, like the ones we saw at Lambda. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, oh, shit. So there's more than one. We need to get out of here. I know, I know, I'm going. See, I know, I, I already know, I already, I, Simon's fully aware that he's a robot. The second one of these guys turns the corner. Gotta find the damn fucking safety locks. No! Go away, you piece of shit! Damn it! Oh, hell no! What are those things? They look like people, really messed up people. I think they could be dead people brought back. To life? Sure. Well, let's call it that. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Round two! You know what? Okay. Seems like a good place to uh, stop for a moment. I'm gonna close this up, and I'm going to uh, end this episode of my time to play with Soma. Uh, thank you, all YouTubers and uh, all viewers on Twitch, for watching this uh, this episode, past, present, or future. And uh, I will be back with a new episode very shortly. Thank you.